Hello, Precalculus students, and welcome to the continuing lesson on power functions. And in this video, we're going to talk. Uh, we'll look at two examples here. First, how to solve a power function, and second, how to analyze a power function. So let's start with the first problem. It says the intensity I of light varies inversely as the square of the distance d from the source. If the intensity of illumination on a screen five foot from a light is three foot candles, find the intensity on a screen 20 foot from the light. And um, I don't know who's watching this video right now, but I can already sense that just the fact that this is a word problem, there's a lot of unusual terminology here, that's probably going to be the hardest part of this problem. And so let's, let's walk through this. So there's a couple things here. We have a variable i. They're nice enough to give that for us. We have a variable d. Okay? And it tells us that i varies inversely as the square of d. Okay? So you're going to have something like you know, i is equal to something with d squared in it. Okay? Something like this, but not quite exactly like that. Okay? Well, it's, it's close. Okay? So this function here is going to be i equals. Now the keyword here is inversely. That means as d gets very large, i should get very small. Okay? And for that to apply, um, you're going to have a constant here, k, which we don't know the value for, and it's going to be divided by d squared. In other words, as d gets large, i gets small because you're dividing by a large number. As d gets small, you're dividing by a small number, so i gets very large. Okay. So that's the first part of the problem, and that might actually be the most difficult part. The second part here says that you know, when the intensity is 5, I'm sorry, when the intensity is 3, the distance is 5. So when i equals 3, d equals 5, okay, these are the givens. And what we're asked to solve for is when, find the intensity when the distance is 20. So when d equals 20, what is i equal to? Okay. Well, you have this, this function here, this equation here with three unknowns, and you're going to need to solve at least for one of them in order to do this problem. So what we're going to do here is we're going to first, we're going to use our givens here and solve for k. Because k is the constant of variation, and it's, it's constant because it doesn't change. So this shouldn't be too difficult to do. We're going to substitute in here 3 for i. k equals 5 squared. Okay. I'm running out of space here, so I'm going to write it to the side. Um, this means 3 equals k over 25. 75 equals k. Now we can use this known k to solve for this scenario. So now I know that i equals k over d squared, but I know that k is 75. And then I have d squared here. Well, I don't know i. I know that d is 20. Okay? And this is a pretty straightforward computation. This is 75. Uh, divided by 400. Which is exactly 0 0.1875. Whoops. Our units here are foot candles, which is a highly unusual unit. And there you have it. And so I just kind of want to recap this problem here, summarize this before we move on. You know, the main idea is that we have to be able to understand what the equation is, what it's going to look like based on certain important information like inversely and square. And, you know, you might not get square, you might get cubed or to the third or to the one half or something like that. But you, you should be able, you, we need to be able to write an equation like this. We use some of the known information to find the constant of variation, and then we use that constant to solve for the case when we have unknown information. Okay. All right. 
So I'm actually going to end this video here and, uh, and continue the next problem on the next video because this is getting uh, over five minutes now and uh, I want to keep this video kind of short. So thank you for watching. Please watch the next video on how to analyze this function and have a wonderful day.